Today's video is going to be a short video for those of you that follow along the VIX. Now, there's really one component we're looking at here today, which is the Bollinger Bands Reversal Indicator. This is a free indicator you can download from our website, tosindicators.com slash indicators slash Bollinger hyphen bands hyphen reversal. I'll leave a link to that in the description box below. The premise of this indicator in a quick one line summary, we look for price to cross outside of the Bollinger Bands, and we then look for price to close, in this case, above the previous candle's high for a reversion to the mean on the bullish side, or below the previous candle's low for a bearish reversion to the mean. Very simple indicator. The whole idea here is reversion to the mean after we're overextended. Now, after we built this indicator, we started applying it on a few markets, one of which was the VIX to try and trade the SPY. Now, I'll leave a link to this video in the description box as well. The overall premise was in 2022, every single time that we had the VIX below 20 and give us that Bollinger Band signal, we saw the S&P markets had a sell-off. Every single time the VIX was above this 30 mark and we had a bearish signal, we saw the S&P have a nice rally. So that was the premise of what we were looking at. We did this exercise on a one hour time frame chart. You can repeat it on whatever time frame you like to trade. Now coming back into the one hour time frame chart in the VIX here, I have 20 days loaded. Let me show you 360 just so you can see even the previous occurrences here. The last time we had this signal printing was back in August of 2022. Now the signal recently printed again, January 24th, so just a couple days ago, and this was towards the tail end, towards the close, this is 12 p.m. when that signal actually printed. Now the VIX here, every single time that's printed, doesn't necessarily mean it's bounced right away, although it did happen this time. Let me show you an example of that as well. So coming back before 2022, if you come into 2021, you'll find areas where the VIX stayed below 20 for an extended period of time. Now, the reason I think this is a little different, this was without the context of a bear market in play, along with a larger downtrend. I'm sure all of you have already seen uh, the downtrending channel inside of the S&P 500. I think it's at this point not really a secret anymore. We've had multiple touches, and I think people have been waiting for this to roll over, which hasn't yet happened. The only reason I think it's slightly more interesting at this point, the VIX as well is now below 20 and did give that first uh, reversal signal with the Bollinger Band uh, reversal indicator. On the daily time frame, the VIX has not printed that signal. On the four hour, however, it's also printed that signal a little earlier than Jan 24th. This was Jan 13th. We already looked at the one hour time frame chart. On the 30 minute time frame chart, we've had one and two signals print. And if you come in down a little bit closer, the 15 minute chart, you'll find more signals. Now, after each signal, we've had that temporary move up this time, not so much here a little bit. And then that started to sell off, which is where we're currently trading at near that 18.67 mark. So again, the larger time frames here, I think are going to be a little bit more useful. And we have already continued to keep breaking down really this pivot point here. So you might say or argue that the VIX has a little bit more to go, but I think the overall idea of being a little bit more prepared, a bit more cautious around at least going long certain positions may be a smarter idea, at least to try and make use of this information. That's all I got for you today. Really looking at the VIX with the SPY with the Bollinger Bands reversal indicator that we built together. It's a pattern we looked at. It's one that's now reformed itself after being quiet since August of 2022. And for those of you that do monitor the VIX or use the VIX to trade SPY, I hope you found this useful. Take care, everyone. Good luck trading, and I'll see you in the next update.